Now that you have Gennaro installed, we can create a first program. Let's go ahead and write a little program that just simply displays the words, Hello World. So here in Gennaro Studio, I've created a new project. And now in that project, I'm creating a new application. And I'll just call that first program. And then in this little application node, I'll go ahead and create a new file that's going to be a source file for GL file. Once I've named my file, I can, we'll see it in the code editor, and I can go ahead and begin typing my code. So for this little program, all I need to do is create a main block. So I'll put in main and end main. And then what this program is simply going to do is display the words hello world to the standard output. And we'll just clean that up. It doesn't matter if we have lower, uppercase, or mixed case. I'll go ahead and compile that. And it was a successful compile. So I'll click on the program node, the application node, and go ahead and run the program. You can see there the output area has the words, hello world. Now I can do the same thing at the command line by logging into the machine where I have Gennaro installed. I'll go ahead and create a new file. <clears throat> Here I'm calling it newprog1.4gl. And I'm just going to go ahead and put the main block with the display hello world syntax in the file. Once I've done that, I'll save the file. And at the command line, I can use the FGL comp utility to compile the file. And then I'll use FGL run to run the compiled file, which would be a 42M. And I see the, the, the statement hello world displayed at the output.